Don, thank you very much, Janice and Stan. I would like to thank all of you. It's really true to me. You are my family. This is the only reason, because I'm attending this important event. It is to meet you. You inspire me, my conscience, and increase my joy. You ask me to share some concerns, experiences, and perspectives about the problems today's family is facing. I think the first one is temptation of evil. The first challenge family has to face in the current context is the one of the power, the power of the human being on another human being, which represents the reason of any attack we can clearly see and suffer today. Considering only the last century, the idea of totalitarian state, including educating new priests, the limitation of parent rights regarding the education of children and new society, completely in contrast with the previous one, is the starting point of the positivist tradition of August Comte. It is not a case that among the first works of Marx and Engels, there are the principle of description of the current veilness against family from the break of wife and, uh, wife and uh, husband relationship to the fact that the family is no more considered a cornerstone the break with Christian tradition. These little roots led the two uh, ideologies which caused a dozen or million of victims, victims and to the madness humanity experienced in the end of the last century and the first decade of 21st century. Simone de Beauvoir, Marcuse, Derrida, Firestone, gleaned vital limp from lethal ideologies. They promoted sexual freedom, but paradoxically, we are living in a free from sex society as the transgenderism and transhumanism are showing today. At the same time, gender ideology uh, is the product of the lethal trial conducted by John Money on the bare flesh of Bruce and Brenda Rennie. This is not just madness used on human beings. The story of Bruce ends with a suicide. We must be aware that we live in a context in which we should always remind anyone, everyone the tragic consequences of crazy ideologies. Our happiness cannot be identified with our death. The beauty will save the world. The change, the change depends on us, on us, on our daily personal and social civil commit, commitment. We need to live in truth, and this means that being aware of our nature, on our desire of truth, beauty and godness is the first step to change ourselves and the entire world. We have a concrete experience learned from the recent past, the great movement of people who witness it, the favor on the end of the Soviet system in Poland and Czechoslovakia. Leaving the truth change culture, the way a single person and the entire community decide to take action. As a gospel quote, the worth, so the truth, became flesh and made his willing among us. Please help ourselves to avoid any temptation to perceive ourselves as a little God, or even better, than the God, or sometimes better be, than, the, uh, than the Pope, Chief Rabbi, and pastors. The first weapon against this temptation is humility, and the second one is friendship. The second question that I think we should uh, reflect is the crisis of liberal democracy. We don't have to be afraid to admit that there is a current tragic global crisis of the idea of democracy. And we all understand how distant today's democracies in, in any country are from the ideals of federalists, Montesquieu, and even the Athenian, Athenian democracy. The democratic cornerstone brilliantly defined in the works of Michael Novak seem to be destroyed everywhere. Religious freedom, freedom of market, democratic institution, and social cultural pluralism. As a part of this crisis regarding the institution and the balance of between different power of the state is the mage to the advantage of the judicial or and executive power. The real power of people's representative, which used to be the basis of democracy, is cancelled. 
the creative jurisprudence of Supreme Courts and single judges, although complying with different juris juris juridical tradition, should be identified with its real name, abuse of power. No, no reasonable accommodation can be made between any human right and some superficial, sentimental privileges of different lobbies. The situation is even more serious considering the difficulties crisis of representation. The referendum are impeded or annulled. The electoral systems give political leaders the power of choice depriving people of their choice. When the state tries to deprive us as believers of our faith, the state's authority is promoting civil right, not civil right, but jungle society. This is a challenge for all of us, and not only for our expert of research and laws. At the origin of subsidiarity, there is a long tradition of Christian freedom and a sound of realism in, of any liberal idea. However, today, subsidiarity is strongly limited and families are risking to lose their public role and rights. But why there are such attack against family? The best pattern of socialist cultural tyranny is a plutocratic financial power without market rules aimed to create and impose the idea that human being is an atom and stateless. This means without homeland, unstable and sexless. This false concept of economy considers family as the first enemy to be destroyed because family is the first environment in which the community exists and the human being is not alone. He, she experiences intergenerational relationship founded on donation, solidarity, freedom and responsibility. Freedom is the environment in which we understand the differences elevate our lives and the relationships are not founded on the rules of market or politically correct mainstreaming. Marriage and family are not only communities where a promise is the only one community where a promise is permanently true and saying forever means exactly permanent fidelity guaranteed by another one. Third challenge is the differences between reality and dreams. Jewish philosopher Anna Harem describes well these challenges in 1968 book on through and politics. He said, for while we may refuse even to ask ourselves whether life would still be worth living in a world deprived of such notion as justice and freedom, the same curiously is not possible with respect to the seemingly so much less political idea of truth. What is the stake is survival, the perseverance, perseverance in existence, and not human world is tied to outlast the short life span of mortals within, it will ever be able to survive without men willing to what, what Herodus was the first to undertake cautiously, namely to say what is. Because true truth has a despotic character. It is therefore aided by tyrants who rightly fear the competition of a coercive force they cannot monopolize. Facts are beyond agreement and consent. They possess an infuriating stubbornness that nothing can move except plain lies. Affirming and defending the truth about life, family, parents' rights and religious freedom represent an essential task that cannot be delegated. Our true friendship must help us to conduct this mission. Other authors recently strongly restarted the tragic hand of human relationship and the fact that society is not built on lies, is now built on lies. This is not the, a case that the last three popes of the Catholic Church, St. Paul, John Paul II, Benedict XVI, and Francis, invited people to extend their gaze, gaze and the world reality, to escape from ideologies and new colonization. 
as a consequence, the decision to follow the, the evangelical invite of through setting you free, not only as a value of salvation, personal salvation, but also include fundamental contribution that restores the entire nation's civil society. Through is essential as much as judgment. To judge means to discriminate, namely to distinguish one thing from another. Any civil code discriminates the owner and the thief. Why does the state defend the property and punish, punish the thieves? Do our, opponent, do our opponent want to change civil laws because they are discriminatives? We must turn back to a common sense, I think. We should not go progressively toward the elimination of human being society. We have also factor of change, mediating on, uh, meditating on our identity, on our need to change the social civic atmosphere in which we live. We have to create more aware and mature discipline and friendship, memory and tradition, which enrich us through our different cultural and religious experiences should be shared and joyfully lived in our own differences and quality in order to contribute to the creative of minority that is already producing unimaginable changes in various files. Memory and tradition are never references to the past. They include a dynamic dimension, taking the experiences and treasures from the past to guide today's action in the future. We need, we need a religious sense and we need of a religious sense and wisdom emerging among new generation and at many levels of society is a wonderful opportunity for all of us and our association to openly show what we believe in, what is good for us and the entire society, what family can create and develop. To achieve these goals, we need real and effective, active friendship. We need to totally put ourselves on the line having confidence in our friendship. Our goal is to share our experiences and to enlighten the best good practices at every level. We need to serve, not to use, to serve this great opportunity, to increase people's movement in defense of marriage and freedom of religion and education the great expectation of loyalty and family among the young millennium. At the same time, we must use any opportunity provided by this mentality, men mentally retired world. Using the advantages of the other part, let's use the anti-discrimination laws or eight crimes laws. Today's family and believers are the most discriminated subject. Parent rights are cancelled. Education of children is manipulated. Religious freedom is restricted. And life is abolished. We are discriminated. The common sense is still alive. And so I, and I hope all of you, all of us, we think that the poor lion says his death was less important than thousands of embryos killed, destroyed, and sold in, by the abortion clinic employees. Anyway, we should consider any social challenge as a, an opportunity and increasing problem regarding poor youth and unemployed people are important topics from which <clears throat> We must promote family values, criteria, evidences, and policies. Stating from this Congress, we should elaborate a great long-term global initiative, an example for asking the, all the world national governments to address at least 2% of GDP to family-friendly uh, newborn policies. We must pretend that any government invests in the future of the world and in the future of our nation. Why not promoting a global initiative to introduce a bi binding referendum result 
in every constitutional provision on the fundamental values. Dear friend, many things are changing and not always in a positive way. But there is one thing that never changes, our duty to build, promote, defend the well-being of future generations and our commitment to respect the real meaning of you and us, that identify us. We are living in an era of instinctive reactions. There is a long series of momentous sentimentalism, or continuous ardoring and dizziness, depriving human beings of their own earth and real relationship. We can take all necessary actions, and this is essential, essential but it would not be enough it, if it were not us, people meeting and other people with a positive perspective in a real contest. This is our right personal position to contribute to change the world. Without our true presence and our infinite, infinite confidence of God's mercy, we cannot change anything or win any battle. I have told you my story, my experience of over 30 years of public life, and I assure you it was the same as when I met and spoke to one 0.5 million people in Paris or in an underground garage among my evangelical friends in Sofia, in Bulgaria. Because the promise begin with me, begin with us. The promise meet us. Let's share to all the people. We won't change the world and we are already started from ourselves and our family. Thank you very much.